Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Phillips here. How are you today? You ready to get some math on? All right. Well, today we're going to be doing lesson 2.12, where we do some algebra, beginning of, beginnings of algebra, solving some multi-step problems using expressions and equations. And we're going to learn the order of operations. The order of operations is a special set of rules that give you the order of calculations that are done in an expression. You may want to get a piece of notebook paper and write this down. I put the order of operations on the board and a cute way to remember it is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And P for please, that stands for parentheses. We always do anything in parentheses first in an expression or an equation. Okay, and then <clears throat> excuse stands for exponents, but we're not going to do exponents in fourth grade. You'll find that in fifth grade, so we're not going to worry about exponents so much, but we want to know that they are in there for next year, okay? And then we have my M stands for multiply left to right, and D stands for divide, and these you can either do multiply or divide left to right, whichever comes first as you go from left to right through your expression or your equation. And then after you do any multiplication or division, we have A that stands for add and S that stands for subtract. And you do those left to right, add or subtract in the order that they come in the expression or in the equation, okay? So you want to want We'll want to write this down, order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and hopefully that will help you remember what to do first as we look at some expressions, some equations today. Um, if you don't do, if you don't follow the order of operations, then you're going to not get the correct answer. Um, so make sure you uh, write this down. Some people would just call this PIMDOS. PEMDAS, that's fine too. However you can remember it, because you're going to use this order of operations throughout the rest of your school career. Whenever you take a math class, this is going to come in important. It's going to be important for you to know. So um, we begin this here in fourth grade. So write it down and start using it, okay? All right, I have an equation up here. I have 5 times 17 plus 5 times 20 minus 32 equals n. And we're going to look at this equation using our order of operations. Okay? So, I don't have anything in parentheses, so I have to go to the next step, which is exponents, which we don't have any of those because you won't see those until fifth grade. And then let's go to multiply or divide left to right. Well, left to right, I come up with 5 times 17, first of all, okay? So I'm going to put parentheses around 5 times 17 because I do want to do this first, okay? 5 times 17. All right, so you may not be able to do that in your head, so go over to the side and write it vertically, and we can use what we've learned with um, multiplying with partial products or multiplying with regrouping, the standard algorithm. Okay, so 5 times 7 is 35. Put your 5, carry your 3. You're going to add that in later. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 85. So underneath of this, we're going to write 85. Now we work, we work our equations going down and down until we get to the final answer. Okay, so I'm going to just bring the rest of this down. And we have a brand new equation to look at, okay? So I'm going to look at it with new eyes. And I'm going to look across. Let's see, 85 plus 5 times 20 minus 32 is n, equals n. Now, according to my order of operations, I still have to do multiplying and division first, okay? You may see this first and think, oh, that's 90. Don't do that. Okay, you have to look at the whole thing and go in the order of operations. So here's a multiplication problem. 
So we're going to, I'm going to put parentheses around that because that's what we want to do first in this new equation. It becomes new every time, okay? So 5 times 20, I know that in my head, that's 100, okay? Now I can bring down this part, 85 plus 100 minus 32 equals N, okay? Now, we have to look at this as a brand new equation also, okay? And so, according to my order of operations, I'm, there's no parentheses, so <clears throat> multiply or divide. Oh, I don't have any multiplication. I don't have any division. So next we're going to look at adding and subtracting from left to right. Doesn't matter if there was subtraction first, we could do that. Happens to be adding first. So let's uh, put parentheses around that. 85 plus 100, that's pretty easy to do in our head. 185. And then we bring down the rest of our equation that we're still working on. And we finally got it down to one thing to do to calculate our answer. And so we're going to do 185 minus 32. Now, if you can't do that in your head, that's fine. Just go over to the side, write it down vertically, and figure it out. 5 minus 2 is 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Bring down your 1. Final answer, n equals 153. Okay? Now, it's important to follow the order of operations. What if I had not followed the order of operations? Would I have gotten the answer 153? Well, let's take a look at that, okay? Let's say, take that off. Let's say we just went from left to right. Would we still end up with 153? All right, so if we went left or right, we'd say, oh, okay, 17 times 5, and I've already forgotten what that is, it's 85, that's what it is. And we say, okay, we say, okay, now let's do this, oh, that's 90. Okay, ooh, oh, it's back, okay, 800. Two, and let's see, that's about 800, 10 minus 2 is 8, 6, all right, wow, that's a far cry from 153, right? So you have to follow the order of operations. You cannot just go left to right. Okay, so see what I mean? It's very important to follow the order of operations. Let me put another equation up and we'll do some more. Okay. So now we have 7 times 29 plus 4 times 46 minus 56 equals n. Right, we don't have any parentheses on this one, no exponents. So multiply or divide, left or right. Well, this is what we come up with first, left or right, is the 7 times 29. So over to the side, 7 times 29, 7 times 9 is 63, carry your 6. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 6 is 203. Now, we bring this down. And we're going to start over with our order of operations, okay? So, 203 plus 4 times 46 minus 56 equals n. I do not do my adding first. There's actually another multiplication calculation to be done. So let's go in here and let's isolate that with our parentheses. And do 4 times 46, okay? 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2 is 18. So put 184. Bring this part down. 203 plus 184 
and then bring this part down. Minus 56 equals n. I don't know about you, but it's kind of fun to work it through and work it down and keep keep going through our order of operations. Okay? So, we've taken care of all multiplication, all division, and now we've got some adding and subtracting. Well, according to our order of operations, we go left or right on that. So we're going to do 203 plus 184 first. 3 plus 4 is 7, 0 plus 8 is 8, 2 plus 1 is 3. So 387, bring this part down, minus 56, equals in. Okay? All right, we're doing minus 56. 7 minus 6 is 1, 8 minus 5 is 3, bring your 3 down. So n is equal to 331. Okay? Now, you're going to have some equations, expressions like this on your um, practice worksheet for 2.12. So you will want to refer back to this. You may even want to write, pause the video and write down one of these problems so you can see how it works down through. Okay, it's a little tricky. It may take you more than one time to get it to do what you need it to do, but we're just starting with this, right? You're going to be using this all the way through middle school, all the way through high school, and through college if you take mathematics courses in college, okay? So you have to know your order of operations, okay? Make sure you get this written down. If it hasn't written down yet, pause the video, like right now, and finish writing it down, and then you can... Go back and re-watch if you need to. You guys have a great day. See you next time.